my mix sounds like this. And my bass sounds like this. Today I will go over three techniques that will help your bass stand out in a very dense metal mix. Jumping straight into the first technique, which is to use a guitar amplifier on the bass. So here is the foundational bass tone. For really heavy parts, riffs and breakdowns like this, I want it to stand out a bit more. I want it to sound really bigger than life. So here I have only the DI. I am using the Omega Ampworks amplifier from Neural DSP, which have these settings. I'm using GGD Cali cabs for the IR, and I'm removing a lot of bottom end and a lot of top end because I really only want this meaty mid range from this amplifier tone. So let's listen with the bass. Obviously, it's a bit loud now, so I'm adding an equalizer where I'm removing a lot of the sharp mid-range here. And then removing as well the lows. And then I'm really accentuating these low mids that I really want this meaty sound. And I'm just finally widening it a little bit using this MicroShift plugin from SoundToys, also reducing the volume a little bit. I'm gonna play it in the context first with the bass and then in the mix and you will hear the difference. So it's not something that you really hear but you can feel the difference, especially when I play with all the instruments. Alright, for tip number two, this technique is concerning automation and it's really about accentuating the pick attack for breakdown sections. Here you can see I have automated up each time the pick hits. It's mainly the pick sound that is audible through the mix except for the bottom end of the bass, but it's this initial hit that really is identifiable as the bass sound in these dense mixes. This really helps the bass to stand out of really busy sections. First gonna play without the automation points and then I'm gonna add them back in. A really big difference as you can hear. The final technique of this video is to complement your bass with a synth and in particular a growler bass synth. Here I'm using the Anna synth from Slate Digital with the Gorilla preset here. I'm going for a really low tone, but you can just as easily just bring it up some octaves depending on what kind of vibe you're going for. I'm mainly after the subs of this bass to really fill in the sound under like 60 or 50 hertz. In the pre-pro section I'm just doing the tube saturation here in Saturn full on. Make it super distorted and saturated. Now I am back in the mixing session and I have my headphones to really hear what is going on in the sub region. And now the mission is to slot in the growler into the mix. Starting with equalization, here is what it sounds like without any EQ. Really meaty, but the subs are a bit too much, especially in the side channels, because I don't want sub information that is interfering with the guitars. I want it really slap bang in the middle, mono. So I'm just removing the side information here below 200 hertz. Another really important thing is to use a multiband compressor to duck the growler when the kick hits so the kick still can poke through really nicely. Now I'm gonna play everything first without and then I'm going to engage the growler.
what is cool about this is in breakdown sections that you really want to stand out, you can increase the volume here. Thanks a lot for watching this video on free techniques for world ending bass. If you're curious about how I got the foundational bass tone in this video, I will link the video here. And I will see you there.